Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we'll learn how to make a new punch tool in Autodesk Inventor Sheet Metal and then how to construct a sheet metal profile by placing the punch tool. So here this will be the punch tool and this will be the final output. Uh, if we remove the punch then this will be a completely plain sheet. If we active the punch tool, so this will be the profile. So let's get started. Go to new. Take a sheet metal part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch and select the YZ plane. Update the view. Now go to rectangle command and take a two point center rectangle. Select this center point and make a rectangle profile. Go to dimension. Give this dimension as 300 and the horizontal also 300. Okay. Now finish sketch. Now simply go to the face command and apply this face and okay. So this will be the base of the sheet. Now from here you can change the thickness. Uncheck this and change the thickness to 1 and apply. Exit. Now select this face, go to create sketch, rotate the view. Now from here, we will take this center point slot, select this center point and construct a slot profile. Now go to dimension, select the center line of the slot place it and here write length equal to 225 mm and ok ok now click here and write r equal to 20 and ok these are the main points now finish sketch and from here go to 3D model, take extrude command and here uh, go to list parameters and from here take thickness, ok and here we will take cut, flip the direction and cut will be remain the same and ok, ok so this will be a cut profile. Go to save and save it as, now we will take a new folder of punch, ok and save it as part 4, go to save. Now we will, uh, we will extract this feature, go to manage, here go to extract feature, extract eye feature and click on sheet metal punch feature. Okay, first go back to this sketch 2, rotate the view and take a point command and place a point at center of the slot and finish sketch. I will tell you why we have done this. Go to extract feature, click on sheet metal punch eye feature and select extrude 1. Okay, it will show you length, radius and thickness. This will be the parameters. Now here so go to select uh, the sketch and select sketch 2. I will show you. So we are selecting sketch 2. If you do not have any center point then it will ask you to make a center point for placement of the punch. Okay. And now save it. Now it will save it in the Autodesk gallery. So here you can see the catalog and the punches of Autodesk Inventor. Double click this. I have already made it a slot cut. So I will make it a slot cut 1. Ok. And save it. Now take a new part. Go to new. Take a sheet metal part. Go to create. Now from here go to 2D sketch. 
and select the x5 plane and from here select the two point center rectangle select this center point and go to dimension give this a height of 800 mm and the width will remain the same or we will take 500 mm width go to sheet metal face command and ok ok now select this face go to create sketch take the point command and place it over here to place the punch tool always point command is used go to dimension from top this will be at a distance of 50 mm go to vertical constraint select this point and select this center point to align it vertically ok select this line make it construction and here select this make it a project geometry Escape. Select this also. Make it construction yet. Now go to rectangular pattern. Select this point to pattern. Go to dimension one, direction one. Select this line. As it's going upward, so flip the direction. Take here a count of eleven. And the center to center distance of seventy. And okay, okay. Now finish sketch and from here go to punch tool so it will open all the punches here we have saved the slot cut one now open you can see the slot profile now from here go to size so we have two size radius and length here we will change the radius from 20 to 15 and from 225 we will change it to 300 mm now finish so this will be the profile if you want to still want to change the profiles double click this change it to 250 and change this to 20 okay now finish so the profile will change here okay so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a punch tool in autodesk inventor and how to use the punch tool I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.